Mark Wills has released seven hit albums and 19 Billboard charting singles, including eight top 10 country hits like 19-something and Jacob's Ladder. He's also entertained our troops on more than a dozen trips abroad. His classic 90s country music is being re-released in a new series called Collections. Would you please give a very big welcome for the first time on our show to Mark Wills. You know, I can't believe we're just now getting you on this show. It's about time. Well, it's It's been one of those things where we've talked about it for years. And for whatever reason, you know, timing didn't work out or whatever. So thank you for having us. Well, I think a lot of it is uh, people want to hear you and you're on the road a lot. And we, so uh, our production schedule and your tour schedule sometimes don't always mesh. I'm really thrilled that it worked out this week. Thanks for being here. Happy to be here with you. I, you know, one of the things that we're going to get into all the music, but you love to hunt like I do. I do. I do. My my youngest daughter uh, has a rare digestive issue. Hmm. Uh, and so that's really what got me into the hunting world several really? years ago. Absolutely. She had a, she was very sick as a little girl. Yeah. And uh, and they they found out that wild game had no fat in the, in the protein. Yeah. And so that's what, I, I started taking her hunting when she was like 10 years old. She's 20 now. Almost six foot two, so there has to be something to it. <laughs> Must be something to it. Because at five ten, you know, and I'm looking up at her, going, "I don't know, little girl," you know. So she's, uh, but yeah, she's she's my hunter. I'm a big believer. I mean, we eat venison almost exclusively yeah. at our house, uh, wild turkey and duck mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. I have an old philosophy that you know you don't go hunting for things you don't plan to put on your table. I Amen. Just the Amen. Way it is. But she's an elk hunter. She's a big game. Oh, hunter. she's a real deal. She loves to uh to go hunting. So so we uh we went this past uh you know elk season and we'll probably go this this next elk season. So you know, you have done a lot of things, particularly with veterans, and I know that's near and dear to your heart. Yes, sir. Many times overseas to entertain. Yeah. Do you do you feel that connection when you get in front of those troops that they really appreciate somebody coming all the way halfway around the world. We have absolutely loved that. So my dad's a Vietnam veteran. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in Vietnam in 69 and 70. He was with the 101st Airborne. Wow. And he had always talked about how the, the one opportunity that he had to see Bob Hope, he missed it because he decided <laughs> to go spend Christmas with my mom in Hawaii. Uh, in, in 69. Probably a good call. It was good a good call. call. It was a good call. Part. No, honey, I'm not going to be there for Christmas. I'm going to be with Bob Hope. <laughs> right. I think that's probably exactly. a good call. But, but so that was something that for me, when, when my dad would tell that story, um, I always thought if I ever had the opportunity to go, uh, you know, entertain our troops, wherever that might have been, yeah. uh, that I would do it. And so uh, back in back in 03, uh, the, the, the end of 03, beginning of 04, uh, I got asked to go with the Sergeant Major of the Army at the time, uh, and we did we did about twelve or thirteen trips, Christmas Christmas time trips, right? Uh, every year to go perform for our men and women in Iraq and Afghanistan and Kuwait and Uzbekistan and different places like that. The new album that uh, is out there, yeah, give him a hand because you know what, to be away from his family at Christmas to it was, entertain our troops, it was something well, that I loved. I mean, I have some of my some of my best memories of performances were. And not even really the big shows. They were the little cops and the little fobs where you were playing yeah. for 10 or 12 guys, you know, taking requests. And, and that, was, uh, that was a lot of fun. This album that you have, uh, I hope it's a big success. It's a collection of a lot of the hits you've had. It's a, it's a collection. What we did was, you know, so, so often back in the old days when, you know, when you would put out a 10 or 12 song CD and you would have two or three hits off of that CD, there was eight or ten songs that nobody ever got to hear on the radio, yeah. and so we started talking with you know with some of our partners about going back and finding some of those songs that I felt like were great songs that really never got heard. So that's where the collections idea came from was to go back, you know, <laughs> how how I look like a baby in all of those <laughs> right there, but but go back and and find some of those songs you know that I felt like were great tunes that. That, you know, we might have been able to play in the show, but, you know, but we might not have been able to and just sort of get those back out there to sort of get people reengaged with uh, with my music career. You got a lot of fans. I hope they all get the, uh, the album. And frankly, I hope you get a lot of new fans that will become 
big Mark Wills fans, as we all are here on this show. Well, thank you. Mark, we're going to let you go play some music because I think that's okay. kind of the main reason. I'd love to. So right now, while Mark Wills is getting ready to perform, Keith Delbury is going to tell us where you can find all the music of Mark Wills. Keith? Head over to Huckabee.tv for all of Mark's music and social media sites. And don't forget to pick up tickets to his fan club party at the Grand Ole Opry on June 9th. Now, performing his classic song, Looking for America, make welcome Mark Wills. Here he is. To be kids playing underneath an old street light, though when they were safe and they lay down at night, looking for something I ain't seen in a while. I'm looking for a factory where a man can feed his family, not worried about them moving it south, closing the doors and shutting it down tomorrow. It's up to you and me to find it how busy you are, but since you're clearly slacking off watching YouTube videos, you probably got the time to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and the like button. That way you get updates on new videos.